Hello everyone, uh, parents, employees, students, and partners. Uh, I'm back for uh, some more news this week. And our, um, another very busy week of different announcements that came from the province. And our today, uh, the today video uh, will follow the letters that I sent out last night to summarize the presentation about the, the plan of the province called the BC Restart Plan. Since then, since yesterday night, uh, Minister of Education, Rob Fleming, has provided some clarification on the gradual return to classroom instruction between now and the end of June. Um, at this stage, no exact date has been set for the return to school, but some guidelines have been established. So supporting the reopening of economic activities, what is their main goal at this point, and maintaining the health and safety of students, staff members, as well as our community members. Uh, Minister Fleming also expressed a desire to practice a return to classroom instruction without expecting a full return to face-to-face -face learning. So the focus will be on part-time classroom instruction for students from kindergarten through grade five, along with part-time instruction as required for students from grade six through grade 12, while continuing with distance online education. Uh, one of the models that may be proposed and it's currently being studied by the province is to alternate days for students from kindergarten to uh, grade five and have students from grade six to 12 receive classroom instruction one day per week. This model is a suggestion and could vary depending on the school's realities. Finally, the province guidelines clearly state that parents will be allowed to choose whether or not to send their children to school or to continue with online uh, education, online learning. Everyone else and safety remains our priority. To that end, the CSF will make sure to put together all the recommendations and measures in place to ensure the safety of its staff, students, in the following of the in footstep of the health authorities guidelines, of course. Following information that are coming on a regular basis, our teams keep working on the development of various possible scenarios. Before we come back to you with more details, we are expecting more information coming from the Ministry of Education and the revised protocols put forward by health authorities, which will announce probably sometime beginning of next week. Uh, models proposed will uh, definitely be hybrids between classroom instruction and a continuation of the online learning plan. As I mentioned in, uh, in my yesterday letters, as soon as the next announcements are made, we will ask all of you parents to fill a survey that will provide us with a better picture of what are the needs for every single school and every single region to make sure that we are able to fulfill the, the needs uh, about the returning to school, about the return to school, sorry. Uh, there's still some work remains that have to be done, of course, but we all have be, to be proud at this moment of the work that has been accomplished by our support staff, our teacher, our administrators to support all our families in these unusual times. Uh, I don't want to miss to wish you a wonderful Mother's Day celebration for this weekend, which look to set very, very nice as a matter of weather. So thank you so much again. Thank you for your continuing support and please stay safe.